Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So today's video is going to be a little different. I've decided to broaden our channel a little bit to go beyond just the detailing aspect. I am a mobile detailer. My wife and I own and operate Miranda Detailing here in Richmond, Virginia, and we've been doing that for over 10 years. So that is our main business. However, ever since we started YouTube about two years ago, things have changed for us a little bit. We've been able to get a ton of products from different companies, testing them out, reviewing them, doing how-tos, and that has been amazing. I've really enjoyed doing that. Now, to be able to provide that content for you, I've had to, well, add a few extra things here, and that's camera gear. Now, when I first started the channel, I basically was making videos using my phone and maybe some other little cheap cameras, but that quickly wasn't cutting it. I wanted to improve the quality of the video and the audio and improve the editing as well. So with that said, I want to actually provide some YouTubing tech reviews for you guys as well. But I'm gonna start reviewing some of the tech equipment and showing you some behind the scenes of how we edit and what type of equipment that we use. Because maybe you want to start a channel of your own and you don't know where to start, you don't know what equipment to get. Well, I can provide some easy and simple solutions that are also budget friendly. Now, when I say budget friendly, you are gonna have to spend some money on some equipment, at least to start and then you can upgrade later on, just like I did. So to begin this series, what I'm going to do is actually give you a review of a tripod. Now I'm starting with the tripod because I want to show you guys a very nice tripod that is affordable and the company itself is incredible. And I'll tell you why. So the company, first of all, is K and F Concept. So you have here a nice carrying bag. It's a heavy duty canvas bag that comes with a little uh, strap here as well and little handles. The tripod actually folds up to fit in this little bag. Maybe it's about 18 inches or so, maybe 19 or 20 inches. That's what the tripod comes in. Here's the tripod. This is how large it is when it's all folded up. So it is pretty compact. It's very light. It is aluminum uh, along with some other plastic pieces like the rubber feet here and then you have the plastic little knuckles here where the legs extend out. Now I wanted a tripod that was tall. I didn't want a cheap, chintzy little tripod that only went up to four or five feet. I wanted one that can actually meet at eye level with my camera and maybe even taller. I'm gonna give you a rundown of what this tripod can do. So guys, like I said, the tripod itself, really nice compact form. Now you'll notice when I extend the legs out, fold them down, you have these little switches here that will control how wide the legs can go out. So I like to extend them all the way down, lock them in place. This neck here actually doubles in size as well with these nice little rubber adjusters here. So you can fully extend it. And at that height, that can be pretty good for whatever you need if you're recording around the vehicle. I'm gonna show you guys the top of the head here as well because this is a really nice feature. But let me show you how tall this tripod can extend. So the legs extend very easily. In fact, they slide right out. The rubber grips on the bottom here are really, really nice. That is the full height of this tripod. It is really tall. So that's extended at its full height. It's actually taller than I am. So I can put the camera up here and get a nice overview of the vehicle or whatever I'm recording. This thing is awesome. So that's fully extended. So now let's fold this thing up. And you can quickly break down and set up the tripod. It's really easy to do. Nothing complicated at all. Everything is very fluid and easy to set up. Now you'll notice here, these are the little clips. So you just press them and you can go down these three different levels depending on how wide you want the legs spread out here. And to fold it up, to put it away, they extend upwards like that, all three of them. Now, another thing to note is this tripod can become a monopod. And what I'm going to do is release one of these legs. So one of them has this foam grip and this little rubberized grip up here. And you basically unscrew it. And I'll show you how to attach the head here to this and then you can just have a monopod. So this again will extend out 
and it's about four feet tall. So for a monopod, you're just going to use it for stability. That's what this offers. So now let's look at the top of the head here of the tripod itself. So first of all, you have all these fully adjustable knobs. So the whole head itself swivel and turn and you have that little opening here so it can do a complete 90 degree angle which is nice and it's very fluid and it locks tight with this also this knob here controls the 360 degree view and it also has some sort of perhaps liquid that's in here an oil or something that gives it that nice fluid motion so if you want to do some panning shots with your camera uh, then you can place your camera here, move the entire camera without any type of shuddering or jitteriness at all. It's nice and smooth motion. And then you have the top here. Now I'm going to demonstrate with my little GoPro Hero 6 Black that we just got. And I'll review that in a later video because I'm really happy with this camera. Now I attached it here to the base plate. So here you have like a nice aluminum base plate that connects to any standard camera with the quarter inch fitting and you also have this knob back here which tightens up your base plate so you loosen it center it place that base plate right on here and then tighten it up and you're good to go and again this whole head can swivel with the knob here and then just lock it in place and everything stays secure now this entire assembly also unscrews so when you unscrew the entire head here you can also buy these separately which is really nice this will now go on to your monopod so that's how you make this a monopod so if you have a little gopro like this you can use this for stability also or you can just put your regular mirrorless or dslr camera right on the top here and and it's really nice and light too really well balanced i will also have links to the tripod down below so that you can purchase it yourself because I am really happy with this tripod. Now you notice that I was using this to demonstrate on but I'm currently using the same tripod on my main camera which is my Canon 200D. Now I have two of them however I only paid for one of them. Why? Well I'll tell you a little story. So I was using this tripod the other day and the first one that I purchased this little uh, rubber foot right here for some reason had unscrewed from the bottom of the tripod. That was my own fault because I didn't tighten it all the way so it was loose and this foot disappeared in my backyard. So I looked up the company, I emailed them. I did purchase this on Amazon but the company KNF Concepts has their own website which you can check out down below. I'll put all the links to their tripods and their information down below as well as all the equipment that I'm using which I will review later. So what I did is I sent a picture of the missing foot uh, or basically of the leg with the foot missing and I said hey guys can you help me out can you just send me one of these rubber feet or can I buy these feet these extra rubber feet that go onto here so they sent me back an email saying don't worry we have you covered we'll take care of it well a couple of days later UPS drove up and dropped the box off and I had no idea what it was opened it up and it was a brand new tripod the same model same color everything and they just sent it to me so I was extremely excited about that well another week went by and I got another package with the same tripod in it so now I have two brand new tripods. Now I think they may have done that by mistake. So I don't know what happened. But anyway, I'm really excited because now I have two brand new tripods. And then another week later, I found the foot in my backyard to the old tripod. So I glued it, reattached it. So now I have three tripods, all the same. Now, what am I gonna do with all of these tripods? Well, my friend Tony Ralda from Ralda's Details also has a channel, so check out his channel down below. He also has a really nice Canon M50 that he just purchased a while ago. And he had a tripod, but I wanted to give him a better one. So I gifted him this brand new KNF Concepts tripod that I got for free from the company itself. So now we're all using these KNF uh, tripods and they're just awesome. So I continue to use both of them. Now I can use one for my GoPro or for my phone if I want to set that up. And then I use one for my main camera. Now I have all these tripods floating around, but I'm always going to use them. So these things are amazing. They'll last me forever. And I'm just super happy with the company itself. So a huge thank you to KNF Concepts because they built an amazing tripod and their customer service is out of this world. I really appreciate it when a company like this is personable, they reach out, they 
answer your emails, and then they fix it by sending you a brand new item, a brand new product at no charge. So thank you again, KNF Concepts. Your tripod is amazing. I'm super happy with it. And sorry that you sent me two free tripods, but I appreciate it. And now another friend who has a YouTube channel is also using the tripod. So that's being spread around. So check it out down below, buy it on Amazon. Let me know what you think if you like this type of tripod. There are other ones with accessories that kind of have like a boom arm on it also. I may get that later because that has some real nice applications when we're uh, shooting video on the cars and you know you want that arm to kind of extend but be out of your way. I might actually purchase that uh, later on because you can, I believe you can add it on to this tripod with uh, certain accessories. I'm not sure, I'll look into that later. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you benefit from it and you're going to be seeing more tech reviews and audio and video reviews on the equipment that we use in our detailing YouTube channel. So stay tuned for more. If you like the content, I hope that you do, then give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, take care.